Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am automotive qualified auditor. I am doing audit in automotive industry for the last 17 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the D difference between repeatability and reproducibility? And this is as per MSA 4th edition, Measurement System Analysis. Well, before going ahead with repeatability and reproducibility, it is very important to understand that why exactly we need to do MSA study. So there are two key reasons that why we do MSA study. The first one is to find out that what is a percentage of measurement error in the total error in the measurement system. And the second thing is to identify that whether our measurement system that we have selected is able to identify any error or any variation in the component that we are testing. So these are two key reasons why we do MS study. Now coming back to the key definition between repeatability and reproducibility. So when you talk about repeatability, the intent is that when we are doing a measurement study by using the same operator, same component, same requirement, same location where we are checking and in the similar time frame and then we see that what is a variation coming that is repeatability. When we talk about reproducibility, everything remains same, same instrument, same location, maybe within the same time frame, but at that time we are using a different operator, maybe two or three different operators. So if we talk about key difference between repeatability and reproducibility, so in repeatability we are seeing within system variation. When we talk about reproducibility, we are talking about between system variation. At times, repeatability is also called equipment variation, even though it's a misleading statement because equipment variation is just one of the many things which can contribute to error related to reproducibility, repeatability. But when we talk about reproducibility, it is basically about the appraiser variation. It can be two or three operators. When we talk about repeatability, what we are intending to see is that within that short frame, what kind of variation that can come and those variations can be maybe because within system variation, within product variation, within operator variation, within the way in which you are doing the measurement that can be the reason. When we talk about reproducibility, we are talking about between appraiser variation, between product variation, between the method in which we are doing the testing, the error what is coming that is called reproducibility error. Another important thing with respect to reproducibility is that we do the reproducibility study only when we are using manual instrument because if we are using some automatic instrument where the involvement of operator is negligible and it is not going to impact in that case we don't do the reproducibility study. So one of the key challenges that industry faces with respect to MSA study and RNR study. The first thing is that very few people are actually clear about the difference between repeatability and reproducibility. The second key difference is even though people are doing this particular study, but whether the intent is to identify the error or just to ensure that we get GRNR within 10%. And thirdly and the most important thing, whatever study that we are doing, how often the, da the data that we are using is actually the factual data and we are not mismanaging it to get some desired result. So if I do a summary again, reproducibility is about between system variation and repeatability is a, with respect to within system variation. My next topic will be with respect to the key difference between bias and linearity, again related to MS study. I am regularly getting a lot of feedback and suggestions from your side and they are helping me to understand your expectations. So please continue to do that. In case you want to understand this particular video in more detail, in the below link you will find a blog and there you will find this thing in much more detail. And if you think that these kind of videos and blogs are helping you to increase and enhance your understanding, so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my website. Thank you.